The reason we came to this triangle thing wasn't because it was like, oh, this is a cool form, we'll do a triangle. But the nature of the topography of the site meant that the house points perfectly north. So it's literally a north arrow. There's a knowledge that building here, even though there's nothing here now, one day there's going to be across the other side of a valley another house. So we wanted the house to be east and west facing, ocean and rural, but not straight ahead. It's almost like a split personality. And it became the dart straight away. The first concept model was a piece of paper folded in half. Even though it's a triangle, you don't really perceive it as a triangle from the ground. So the arrival face is a really long flat gable, almost like a farm shed. I'm really proud of the kitchen. What we did with it was we carried the same cedar cladding through the kitchen, which is not normally a done thing because cedar is such a soft timber. We spent a lot of time making sure that, that you had that continuous board despite being horizontal cuts at cupboards and things like that just to make a really clean look. We ended up with this little private deck off the master suite which is my favourite room in the house. The clients put this kind of egg chair there and you just sit there, put your feet up and just watch. We obviously ended up with a very sculptural, simple form and we wanted it to be as simple as it could be. We weathered the cedar so that it's almost a driftwoody pallet. We detailed it so everything's hidden. There's no gutters, no downpipes. And that's all hidden behind a sort of a decorative facade just to give it that otherworldly sculptural quality.